Let me show you its features. Oh, I missed that line. Oh, I see. <laughs> you missed it. I missed it. We have to redo my bit now so I can use that line. Okay. <laughs> Hi, it's Todd of Todd's Workshop and Todd Cutler here. And today I am finally getting to meet Jörg Sprav, who is in the UK here for some filming at the moment. So I've come down to see him on set and we're going to shoot some stuff. So first up, we're going to start with the gastrophetes. So this is an ancient Greek crossbow really of which there's very little evidence very little information but it's a really interesting thing and it inspired Jörg to go forth and make his own improved version of course more powerful version of course with a magazine of course <laughs> and we'll compare the two weapons and we'll see how they go super cool let's begin well here it is I mean the first thing you need to know about the gastrophetes is it means belly bow um, because you lean on it, presumably with your belly. So it is the first weapon ever invented where the fatter you are, the more effective it is. Suits me. <laughs> <laughs> also, you could tell that it inspired the, the Roman artillery that, that came later. So you have some ratchets there, you move those out of the way, you slide the slider forward, open the trigger, set the trigger, and then really, you push down on it. And you push down, you've got to be a little bit, whoop, You've got to be a little bit steady there, making sure that the ratchets go in. And there we are. Okay. So really, you, you literally shoot it like this. It, it's not really possible to aim this thing in a conventional sense. And then you've got a little trigger bar here. You just pull that back out of the way. Whoa. So it goes some. Yeah. So quite how they used it and in what way they used it, we don't know. Okay. Um, but certainly it's an interesting weapon. But could, wouldn't it have been possible to also turn the handle around and so that you can still shoot it the conventional way? Well, they didn't have a Jörg Sprav, did they? Ah, OK. <laughs> so, no, I mean, this is the thing. The, what is interesting, though, is, it's a serious point. What is interesting is this seems like a slightly crude weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, and in reality, we don't actually really know how they were because there is one sort of schematic drawing that shows it, but it doesn't really detail exactly how it was laid out. So it could have been It could have been different to this. Okay. We, we just don't know. This is kind of like a conventional understanding of how it probably was. They probably had different versions anyway, so. Yeah. Okay, so we just slide this forward. Yes, yeah, so you've got to pull those out of the way. And then the whole thing should slide relatively easily. Then, yes, very easy. And this is very simple. Yeah. Okay. And then we put this underneath. Oh, that's simple. Yeah. I would have made it that way. <laughs> <laughs> then you actually yeah, put those, this down, right? Yes. And so you just got to visually make sure that they, mm -hmm. you know, that they're caught into that. That the they catch, catch, yes. Catch. Okay. Yeah. And then it's a very simple ratchet system. It's actually very, very easy. Here. Yeah. Okay. Do one more. Yeah. I mean, let's one go. more, do you think? Yeah, yeah. one more. Yeah, that was super easy to cock, I have to say. It was not hard. And that's, just so you know, full draw, that's drawing about 55 kilos. And then, yeah, put that, that's put it. it. All the way back. All the way back. Uh -huh. So it's about 55 kilos at full draw, so that's what, 125, 130 pounds, something like that. And then you just aim instinctively. Yes. All right. Nice. Serious kick. Yeah, it does kick, doesn't it? Not bad. So quite powerful. It's certainly not a trivial weapon, not at all. Um, well, definitely more powerful than a bow because you can invest more power. You know, 55 kilos in draw weight. Most people can't easily shoot that with a bow. Okay, then let me show you mine. Yes, please. <laughs> So, the modern day gastrophetus. <laughs> Let me show you its features. <laughs> show me its features, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, what you see is that I've used two compound yeah. bows, and the two compound bows are same model, but one for left handers and one for right handers, yeah. so that I can move, they put them side by side, and then getting space in the middle so I can attach the magazine. Yeah. And of course, also converted it into a crossbow, because obviously a gastrophetus is a crossbow yeah. and it needs to have a lock. So I, I installed this little lock in here that lets me unlock it 
and then I can slide the entire magazine forward. So in the end, it grabs the string. Yeah. And the strings actually combined. You see, I have spacers here so that the that the cams would not come under tension. So it's now basically one string, but operating two bows. Yeah. And then you just do the same thing. You put it down, and but as you see, my levers are much shorter, and they're going at the sides of it. Yeah. So when I lean on, lean on it, you see, I just can do this far more directly. All right, now it's locked in place. Now you lift it up and you actually shoot it like a normal bow. So, lean with it and fire. <laughs> Don't you like that? <laughs> you want to give it a try? Yeah, that is quite extraordinary. <laughs> so, open the catch at the bottom. Right. Slide so down. that goes all the way down. And then you put it on a stone because... Well, Push down. Oh. And it, as a, again, you have to overcome it at one <laughs> point. <laughs> okay, and then it will be very easy. Oh. Uh, See, that is the compound <laughs> effect. It has a let off. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Now you hold it like a normal bow. Yeah. yeah. You aim and you have the red dot. Oh yeah. Now you shoot. Bam. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> the power That's, is amazing, isn't it? That is a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Blimey. I like that. Yeah. So I think it has ultimately more power. Also has more draw weight. I'm not sure if you could really cock this weapon the same way like you can uh, you, you pop yours but just lean on that no i think well no i think you couldn't actually because this one i mean this is this is interesting i'm i'm a bit lighter than you but not a lot but i'm beginning to i get sort of unstable i'm putting so much weight on there there's not enough for my feet so if i bought one of these to use i would want one actually at a lower power than this uh, actually you can adjust the power oh these. is it an adjustable? There's an adjustable so this is of course full power as is uh, I would say the standard on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And it's fairly accurate. And it's accurate, yeah. <laughs> you want to look at how deep the arrows penetrated? Okay. It's a two man job to get them out, isn't it? <laughs> Well, depending on the target, but it is really hard. Yeah. So, I think I have to adjust my red dot a little bit to the right. Yeah. But other than that, I believe it's a fairly good group. <laughs> That's a fairly good group. Um, on the other hand, these ones, uh, from the no sight shooting, shooting from the hip. Um, also, it's not bad. Let me try it. So, this penetrated through a lot of different... <laughs> Pooh! It's not going to be easy to no. get those out. I'd like to. Oh. I think no, I have to spray oil on them first. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to break off. So, what we've learned here today <laughs> <laughs> your bow is incredibly powerful, but mm -hmm. to be fair, this one performs, you know, not so bad. That would definitely cause a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah. So, the comparison between the two. Yeah. There is a difference, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I mean, that's awesomely powerful. Um, I think you've done a fantastic job about taking the idea of this, the germ of this, and then turning it into the way that only you can, you know, just finding out the little improvements, the little changes, the just fiddling about with things to make things better. And you, well, I think what you've done there is, again, it's a working proof of concept, but it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, I think I... I I mean, a few things that look funny on here, like the two bows, that was only necessary because I could not find a compound bow that had more than 70 pounds. I think that's about the top yeah. of the line. So I wanted more power, so I had to just take another one. Mm. Otherwise, it would be a, fair, a far simpler uh, construction. Yeah. So, so that is uh, clear. But I also think that shortening the levers really helped, because otherwise it would be a much longer, much more clumsy weapon. Yes. So well, and, and I think you can see that. I mean, this is inelegant to use you know that that is certainly a lot better
But I think what intrigues me, we were talking earlier, you were saying about how you don't like winches on crossbows and things. Because I, I like a weapon that is self-contained, mm. and I always had an issue with, if I lose this thing, then the weapon is useless yeah. to me. Yeah. So. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, you see, because the, the way I look at it, because I make things like the windless bow, the old medieval stuff, mm -hmm. is actually what you've got a bow in your hands to do is to shoot. And it's not to fiddle around with strings and winches. That's not why you're there. It's to shoot. And that speeds up the whole process. So, you know, I, I think that, that it's a given that that will be on the crossbow makers' shelves in a year's time. You think months. so? That would something, be my pleasure. <laughs> something like that will be there. And just because that is what I want. I really want to make an impact into the technology. As always, I'm giving this invention into the public domain, so and also for commercial use. Mm. So nobody else can patent it, <laughs> and every commercial <laughs> maker is uh, allowed yeah. to make a version out of it. So. I, th I think you'll find that Hero of Alexandria, two and a half thousand years ago, <laughs> beat you to the public domain. But no, no, but seriously, I'm, I'm taking the mic. But, in all seriousness, yes, I mean, that's, it's great because I think what you have done there is you've delivered to the world an idea that I very strongly suspect we will see on for sale within a year, 18 months. That would be amazing, don't you think, guys? I think it would be super if you could, could buy a thing like this yeah. commercially with a magazine, of course, with everything. Of <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I still have to say that I'm in awe by the quality of your craftsmanship. Oh, I mean, you. we're producing these things in such a way that function beautifully, they look great. Uh, I just love that and I really have to you know, pull my head and say congratulations to what you do. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> but, uh, One but of these way, days we probably need to make a weapon together. <laughs> I, you know what, I think we should. I think we should. That would be cool. We'll, um, discuss what that should be. <laughs> All right. Well, if you have any ideas, guys, yeah. let us know. <laughs> yeah, no, please do, because I think, I think there should be some sort of challenge that we do together. That would be great. So, Jörg, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's been brilliant. <laughs> Another time, I hope. I hope so, too. Goodbye. Bye-bye.